In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. You know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. Okay. That's right. Wakaba got hit by it or what? So is this what Okachan thinks why o Wakaba is dead? Is this not episode one? When we spawned? Ooh. No, she still has her evolved form. Her I'm glad that worked. Something to swap her body with the one in the egg? What the fuck? Creating weaker copies. Plan to parallel minds into the copies of the eggs. What the fuck? And my soul being able to revive with these eggs, both pieces are indestructible, so we can never fucking die. The spider is just a fucking host. We can create multiple eggs and we can fucking plant our soul into other ones like that, huh? <laughs> what? Fa-fa-fa <laughs> indeed, but I guess this is why Okachan again... <laughs> Evolution announcement. Arachne! That's the humanoid one, right? Arachne? We already reached it? Now, are we gonna turn into the 10th Squadron girl? Oh! Don't bait me! Titties! Face! Hair color! Yeah, it's her. It's her. It's her. It's her. It's her. Back to the present with the elves because they have mechas, dude. Why do they have mechas? Who told them? Yo, Kyuya does that so quick. He does that, right? Blood barrier? Blood barrier. Damn, even the mecha is weak? Okay. Hugo and Sophia is a bad duo, but Kyoya and Sophia kind of scary. Can't believe they got these fucking drone mecha things attacking. Uh, drowning with blood. Alright. More CGI arrows, dude. The CGI arrows are so bad, dude. Yo, Shun, fuck the elves. Help? Help Sophia out killing the elves. Oh, what is that sword? Huh? One handed? Yo, that was kind of sick. That was kind of sick. Look how casually he fucking did that, dude. Shing! Because the elves are crazy, man. They're racist, too. We should kill the elves. Oh, he... that's a tooth out. Kind of true. Kyoya, honestly, kind of a shit disturber. He's being trolled, but he's not wrong. And I feel like he's not a bad person. I feel like the demons aren't bad people. It's more nuanced, bro. Ooh. Ooh. Broke and just shoot swords? Face dead, guys. Katya's dead, guys. <laughs> Sword strikes like gentle breeze. Oh, oh no, 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 oh, no, half elf, half elf, half elf. Maybe this will be like an emotional trigger for Shun to like step up. Look at Anna running. This whole scene is funny too because he's talking while in slow motion. I'm sure in the manga it makes more sense, but like, look at this, look at this. Look how fast Anna slides in. Shing! Dude, all Anna got was just getting shit on. The elves didn't like her. I don't think the humans like her. Now she just dies. What did you just say? I wouldn't have killed her. He was trolling. They shouldn't, they're trying to keep the reincarnation alive. So even Anna's death right now didn't need to happen. Wow. That is so fucking troll. That is so disrespectful. That's even sadder. Rest in peace, Anna. That was a dumb death, I guess. No, she was trying to save Shun, but... Wait, did Anna hear it? Last episode, did Anna hear Sophia saying, don't kill the reincarnations? Did Sophia say that out loud to everybody? Is this a public thing that everybody knows? Hold the fuck up. Did she heard this and she still did that? Oh, right. Mercy. Mercy. And we level up Mercy. Wait, wait, wait. He's getting the lore dump. DLC. Taboo 10! Maybe later. Here it is. Here you go. World history time. Installing DLC package again. 
Yes. Repent. Repent. The humans discovers MA energy. Life goes down. Dragon's mad. Some shit like that, right? Nothing. He didn't do anything. Oh, oh, you? No, it can't be Hugo. Hugo? <laughs> He's such a fool. Bro, she's the one that gave you the fucking powers after you got stripped of everything. How do you fucking still not? He's so unaware, bro. He fucking sucks. Oh, she mad. Was she mad at the spooky there? The nickname is Spooky. Huh? Huh? You should have not called her Spooky. Isn't that what Oka-chan did before? Except Oka-chan was like, activating ruler privileges, take away skill. But like, Sophia can do it too, huh? Wakaba! First time meeting? We have seen in the intro scene that this is most likely Wakaba. She reads, you know, arachnoid or some shit, and then now, you know, she's a humanoid form. But like, we also know that Wakaba, you know, mind is infiltrating Ariel, and Ariel's becoming more like Wakaba. But in the future now, in the present, right? Ten Squadron Leader, you've seen how she acts? She acts like a fucking coup today, right? She's just got no personality anymore. What's going on? Did her entire self just get wiped? Wakaba! How did you know, Shun? Shun, how would you know? Dude, she still keeps that eye shut unless she uses Annihilating Eye. Okay, back in the past. Yeah. So, so eye color red. Eye color red important here, I guess, maybe. She still got, like, spider leg things. Okay. Oh, wait. Wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Her body's still in the fucking spider. How did, when, when does the body get out of the spider? So there's still a next step that hasn't happened yet. So, you know, the, the human form is stuck on the spider yet. We're not just there yet. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just so curious on what happens during this 15 years for Wakaba to turn like that. Like, emotionless husk. So she, oh, oh, she's got little babies. And these has to be the nightmare vestiges that, you know, um, in the future, what was her name? Uh, 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 Julius Nissan's party was attacking, right? They look exactly the same, right? You got a lot of kids now. Who's the dad? There is no dad. It's just always a queen. It's just always a mom. And then they have like egg laying skills and then eggs just gets made, right? There is no dad, right? There's, there's no dad. All right, feed your kids. We're creating a fucking army of these insane spiders, dude. Honestly, better mom than our mom. What the fuck did our mom try to do? Episode 1 immediately tried to eat us. At least we gave him food and we're dipping, you know? Oh, it's war. It's absolute war back there. <laughs> Divine Beast, you, know, you need to go there and save them. That is an insane range of vision. Yo, we know that he lives, right? Because Metazophis turns into, you know, the Demon Lord Commander. But like the mom. Does the mom live? Please, please. Why can't mom turn into like a Demon Army MILF? Useless baby. Don't worry. Walk about over here. Giga Chat Dad. Damn. Wait, you don't trust your mom? Sorry, your wife more than him? I know what he's trying to say. Bye, Sophia. Wonder how Sophia feels about her dad. Oh, she will grow up strong, all right. Even if he needs to turn into a demon. Mom died already? What the fuck? Is the mom and dad dead already? <laughs> Skyrim memes! Arrow to the knee! Nah, no, don't worry. Wakaba, Wakaba, Wakaba. Ooh. Ooh, that's... That's a lot of injuries, man. Nah, your master, Goshujin-sama, will show up very soon. Giga-chad! Give him vampire powers? What would the requirements have been met? You have attained the skill Kin Control, just like how, you know, Mom Spider controls us. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. 
Now I command you to fucking take these out, my new vampire soldier. Nice. So I... Who was the vampire? The mom or the dad? Probably the mom, right? The dad seemed human. The mom might have been like an actual presenter of vampire too, right? Or it, neither? So she just randomly spawned as a vampire? I thought like the mom was a vampire or something and they were trying to like hide shit, but she's literally just a vampire baby? How the fuck does that work? Whatever. Fuck these elves. Fuck these elves. These elves dying is so funny animations. Both are still pretty strong, huh? Wakaba will show up now. I need to kill you now as a baby. <laughs> yeah, we fucking met Potimas. What the fuck? Yeah, I bet he'd kill a baby. I bet he'd kill a baby, yeah. Damn. Lie to Okachan. Look, objectively speaking, if we're like thinking from like the perspective of Potimas, it makes sense, right? Would you want a fucking progenitor vampire to grow up fucking having a revenge against you? Like, look, the elves are doing this shit. What are you gonna do? Let her fucking live and come back in like 15 years and kill you? Come on. You seeing what's going on right now? <laughs> fucking insane. <laughs> because he vowed. Doesn't matter. He pr promised dad. Also, I'm a vampire now. No, he's a great character, dude. Wakaba. Ah! Now, is her upper body actually gonna be hanging out with her titties out, like straight up? It, it, could the body retract or is it gonna be up? This is gonna be hilarious. <laughs> Wait! You just punched it with your fist! So the, the, the human part is just all out. He got spider punch now. Interesting how she was in spooky immediately recognized, huh? Wait! No, wait, no, remember how Faye was a dragon? Then, you know, by, you know, resemblance of her soul, she looks more like Faye and the personality as well. Oh, wait, the personality stuff. Wait, you know how Faye was a dragon turned into a human, looks more like Faye and the personality changed back to normal? Wakaba, you know, she, she used to be a spider, now kind of humanoid, you know, maybe Faye looks like Wakaba, but I'm, I'm talking about personality though, personality wise. In the 15th into the future, is she acting the way that she did back at school? You know, the loner gamer outcast? That kind of would make sense, right? Wouldn't it? Because I'm too used to the hyped personality of Wakaba as a spider all throughout these episodes. But now that I think about it, her being so, you know, distant and like kudere actually might kind of make sense, do doesn't it? <laughs> Newest evil eye gained, okay. Oh, hello. Oh! What the fuck kind of evil eye is that? What is that, fucking twisting eye? What, what? There's no escape from this evil eye which creates turning distortions in space. So she just... <laughs> who's talking? You know, who's, who's talking here? She's thinking, but like when she talks, is it the spider? And like, what happens when she talks to other people? Because so far, spy no one could understand the spider because she made spider sounds. But now we actually have a human mouth. How does... Will people understand us now? Help him. Heal him. Heal him. Heal him. <laughs> Man, that's obviously just like, please no! Potimas. He took the spider punch. Wait, 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 what did you just say? What did you just say? The appraisal didn't work, it worked in Ariel though. Holy shit, even with the wisdom virtue that we could see, you know, Mao Ariel stats. Like, we can't see Potimas, that's kind of insane, right? Yeah, that's our grandma. Teleport out, just teleport out. Anti-magic barrier, activate? Okay, bro was built diff, I guess. Uh, what about her physical stats though? Can we punch him again? <laughs> is he also an admin? Is he- is Postima's admin P? Did he- does he- does he- is he on the level of an admin? Nah, uh, probably not. Postima's Hari Fenas. Listen, I- I love shit like this. Like right before a duel, like announcing their name. Dude, shit like this is so hype. He acknowledges Wakaba. 
dude, how old are we right now? Are we like a two-year-old baby, three-year-old baby? How old is Vamp? Because every, because this is still happening in like the early phases when everyone's a baby, right? So Wakaba, despite being that early phase baby mode, I know she got a head start because she's from the Elro Labyrinth and she's a spider. Like, bro, it's, it's like acknowledging a fucking baby. <laughs> My body's heavy. Our speed is gone? Oh, okay, the stats are also gone. That's why we're speed so slow down. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> what was that spin? Wow, amazing! <laughs> so we still have thought acceleration? Why? So some skills are still, some passives are there? Incomplete magic barrier? Skills or stat boosts that work internally are still on the table. I don't really know the distinction between like an external skill and an internal skill, but because like, you know, you know, uh, it's because like oh, a mental processing, right? It's like in your brain. So like it's like internal, right? All right. Oh shit. You break his sword? No, that was not a sword. That was just his fucking body sound. Are we doing well? I can't tell if we're doing well or not. Whoa! Was Pultimas ever an elf? What is this? What is this? He is literally built different. Yo, the elves never existed. The elves are a fake ring. Nah, Okachan's an actual elf baby. Elves do exist, but like... Pultimas underneath the skin has mecha. And remember, in the future, he has... Well, maybe even now he has access to fucking, you know, the, uh, the, the, the mecha drones and shit. Like, why does he have these future exit technology? Where is it from? From past reincarnation knowledge? Like, what is this? Okay, where'd it come from? Where'd it come from? I thought the world was brought to doom because the humans, like, understood what MA energy is. Like, MA something, right? Is that the same shit as this? Aww. He sounds like a robot now, too. What? Oh, shit, he got a bazooka? Bro, that's, that's a went to a futuristic fight. Uh, uh, uh. Huh? The fuck? What just happened? Oh, it was our head that got cut off there. This was kind of awkward. I don't know what's really going on. Shot, head's gone. Gotcha, gotcha. But the head doesn't matter. <laughs> what is she, a fucking Durandal doesn't need a fucking head? I mean, the real head is down there, right? Right? Arachnid one, normal head, yeah. Put it back, right? Can, can we put the head back? <laughs> you know, we're just memeing on uh, Wakaba's head, but Pultima straight up just fucking 360'd his head too, bro. <laughs> Is immortality internal or not? Uh oh. Oh, it's a leg. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All oh, evil eyes. Annihilating eye would come in clutch right now, but we can't even use it. What? It activated because the area it affected was inside his right arm. It was internal. Again, it has to do with more internal association, not external. Uh, do internal damage on him, right? But like, we know Pultimas is still alive. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> Grandma! Did you just show up with the fucking Sailor Moon intro? It's the demoniacal girl, Ariel Chan in the glorious flesh! She just showed up with the fucking magical girl intro! Is that our fault? <laughs> Q, magical girl theme. Yeah, did you always act like this? You didn't. The body is influencing her? Pultimas doesn't even recognize her anymore, dude! Pultimas is like, are you sure? What a heavy step. Oh, she's... <laughs> That's that was such a fucking... You know, like Kushida Akina going from... Oh, no, no, get serious. Okay. We should slowly back out, yeah. We should slowly back out. 
Uh, and she's back again. What the fuck? There goes his head. This body. So that makes so much sense, right? How did Potimas fake his death, right? When they were, when Hugo and them were attacking our kingdom. Because he has multiple fucking bodies. And his consciousness is like just data, right? So he can just implant. Just like how Wakaba has like different, you know, spider eggs and we can implant the souls. Potimas, you know, instead of, you know, different eggs. Just, bro just got fucking robot cyborgs ready lined up, huh? The real deal. Where is the real Potimas though? There is no shot. The real Potimas is even near the elf village. I bet bro is in the fucking remote location, bro. Potimas is very cautious, huh? Smack. Uh, hello. <laughs> our, he our head is back. Our head is back. <laughs> hello, grandmother. No hard feelings? Hey, let's go, let's go. Wonder if she knows our secret. Yeah, I'm just gonna assume she doesn't know our secret. Really? She has no desire anymore, thanks to body. Yeah, let's do it. And I guess this is how Ariel, you know, recruits, you know, uh, Wakaba to the command. What did she just say? What did she just say? And now with peaceful days where nobody is trying to kill me, can finally begin, bro. Stop, stop it. Stop fucking jinxing yourself. Remember what she said when she got out of the labyrinth? You know? Oh, finally, my story finally begins. I can eat fruits and enjoy the sunshine. Surely no one's gonna hunt me down. Immediately gets hunted down by fucking mom. Jinxed, you jinxed it yourself. Are they good? Meta, Sophie, and Sophia, they should get recruited now too, right? How many Pultimas are there? How many Pultimas are there, dude? Which is the real one? Where the- This is not in the elf village, right? Where is he? Damn, Potimas, I know you're racist, but goddamn, why did you have to say like that? That white spider woman? Jesus. Now what? How much of the stories left? No, it's the ending! No! No, no, guys, it's ending! And this is the recruitment process. The villain who threatens the whole world. So the end game right now for Ariel, the goal is to find the true body of Potimas. That's it, right? He threatens the whole world. The natural disasters is caused by Potimas. Maybe like the um, knowledge of these technologies. You know how like, you know, you introduce like a gun to a tribe that never had a gun. Then people start shooting each other. Then they fucking kill himself. Just like how, like that example, back in the past, right? When people didn't know shit and they discovered MA energy or whatever, right? That I'm going to assume has to do with what Potimas technology is. Potimas, you know, um, Potimas' knowledge of this technology. And if the masses were to get it, population, everyone was going to go to war. And we need to stop that. That's what the whole point of the DLC package is, right? Uh, okay. There he is. Hey, join us. Magical girl and spy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, even though she used to be the divine beast, you know, it's kind of funny. <sighs> Dude, Ariel's so great. She is not racist at all. Hey, vampires, you know, the, the people are pretty mean to the vampires too. Just come on, join us. Sophia? Telepathy. Honestly, I'd love to be a vampire, man. Being a vampire sounds fucking sick. I'm down, man. What a loyal servant, man. Yeah, you'll be safe from the racist elves. Thank God. Lil Spider. I don't know why I'm thinking about Lil Slave. Yep. Basically, take the nukes away from Potimas. And, like, what is Admin D doing at this current moment, huh? Like, what is Admin D doing? Who is Admin D at this point? I still don't fucking know. Apparently, it's a fucking classmate, right, that proposed the system. But, like, Admin D must be watching this entire thing and being like, hmm, excellent, excellent, you know, all according to my plan. <laughs> Need to get stronger. Wonder when Wakaba separates the body of the spider and the human. The demons are the good people, dude. And back to the future? Yes. This is so weird. All you have to do is just change the fucking soundtrack. Because of the soundtrack, this straight up was like a fucking anime opening showing all the main characters, the good guys of the fucking anime, dude. Straight up, if you had like a sinister soundtrack, it'd be totally different. 
<laughs> this is amazing. School hero to ka. Apparently you are. What about the aftermath of the war though? Hey, this this fucking anime. This anime that everyone shit on saying, bro, spider so mid, the CGI so bad. None of you motherfuckers can truly appreciate a good story, specifically in a saturated genre like Isekai. Just watching? Wait, wait, what? Naiwa. Shut the fuck up. Shut the. You fucking stop. Naiwa, I got it. Okay, okay, the truth. Okay. All right, one more time. All right, bye, bye, bye. One, two, three. Naiwa. Naiwa, indeed. Hey, she actually talked for the first time through her mouth, but that's the episode. And again, this anime. I think a lot of people are too brain dead to appreciate amazing story in an isekai and a genre that is oversaturated and just has so many shitty fucking animes just thrown in with the boilerplate template just to maximize money doesn't fucking matter because this is what a good story is and if there's a good story you should be willing to look over the atro atrocious cgi yes the cgi is fucking dog shit let's not guess L let's get real right the entire war at the end being animated in cgi is such a fucking disappointment right this fucking sucks i wish that this part was not cgi right of course however i'm saying that just because the cgi was bad doesn't mean that the story is bad and i think the story was fucking amazing compared to all the different isekais that we watched recently like spider's plot truly there was like I, I i felt like a connection sometimes i don't feel a connection when watching anime and maybe you can tell right you can probably tell by the fucking duration of the anime if every fucking spider anime is going fucking 50 minute reactions then clearly there's something worth talking to man but goddamn bro goddamn i just i just wish that people would give this anime a chance and ugh, just it's just so good man but that's it what an amazing story. So many plot twists, so many different mysteries that we still don't know. And when are we going to get a season two? If reincarnate as a vending machine can get a season two, surely this can get a season two. And if the light novel finished in 2022, surely, surely we're going to get another season, right? And until then, we'll be holding on tight. Now, I believe the next community series that we're going to watch is probably going to be Gate. So stick in for that. We got a long, long ways to go. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, Please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.